You want me to post something every single day? The September challenge for wireless LAN professionals is that we, working together, will be able to post every single day something to our website, to the YouTube channel, and our goal is to take a question from the audience and give an evidence-based answer. That's our challenge. We're going to try to do it in the month of September. So to post every single day, well, not all days, we're only going to post on weekdays, in the month of September, well, why are we going to do this crazy thing? Well, first of all, we're all together in this kind of crazy COVID time, and we're working from home, we're a little more remote than we might have been, and it gives us a chance to build a little camaraderie in the community by doing a little Q&A together. One of the things I've found in the last 20 years being involved in Wi-Fi is there's a lot of misconceptions going on in how Wi-Fi actually works, which is totally okay. I mean, when I started, I used to do really stupid things. I put amplifiers on my APs because I thought it was all about getting really strong signal. Yeah, I've learned, and I feel a little bad about some of those initial installs I did, but we were all learning and learning together. So maybe this gives us a chance to talk about some things and bring up some misconceptions and then prove, using evidence, why it doesn't work that way. Not to mention, it's kind of fun. It's kind of a fun project for us to do. We'll come up with an idea to answer a question, build a little experiment, set a hypothesis, collect some evidence, and then jump to some conclusions about it. And what we found is every time we do one of these, we actually have more questions than answers, and that leads to even doing more questions and answers. So this should be a fun little thing we get to do for this month. The format we're gonna be using is just question and answer. We'll take a question from the audience. You can hit me up at Twitter, at Keith R. Parsons, or on our website, wmpros.com. Send a question, and we will try to come up with an experiential way, an experiment, to show you the answer to your question. We've had decades of playing around with Wi-Fi, doing all sorts of crazy things with Wi-Fi. And we thought it was a good way to take and show visually the answer to the question. So it's just not Keith saying, Keith said this, or Fernay said this, or Matthew said that. It's actually, we're gonna show you where we came up with our conclusions. We're trying to make these evidence-based, but totally admitting this is not really scientific. We won't be using really high-end uh, equipment, very precise measurements. We're just using things that you could have yeah, in your own kit. And we're gonna have more questions that come out of this than we started with. So that sounds like a good format to be using in this month's challenge. Because Wi-Fi is so easy to do wrong. Because if you do something and it's not the best practice, you put an AP in a hallway, you hang it on a wall like a clock, you do all sorts of things that aren't really best practice, Wi-Fi still works. And we know that Wi-Fi still works because we can test it and it still works. But that doesn't mean that it is the most efficient way to use Wi-Fi. So part of the misconceptions are explaining and showing it's not because you did it wrong, it's just there might be a better way to go back about solving the problem. And just because you said, well, I saw this happen, hey, when I put on APs with an amplifier, I was adding 30 dB to the output, yeah, you could see it way, way far away. Yeah, but the clients couldn't get back. So just because you saw one portion of it, we need to look at a little broader scope and see all the things that might be happening. Sometimes we might need to back up and do a little conceptual review before we answer the question, but it all depends on which question we're trying to answer. The format we're using is to use things we have at hand. Something that's just in the lab, something we get off the rack, something you might have at home in your own lab. A hypothesis, we think if we do this, this might happen, and then we build an experiment around that. How can we hold all things constant and change just the one thing? If we wanna check distance, we'll have an AP, and then we move the client. If we wanna check the difference between a high-powered AP and a low-powered AP, we get the exact same AP, put one on high, one on low. We're trying to keep as many variables out as possible. But again, this is not scientific. We're not using super high-end devices to make measurements. We're not gonna be in a Faraday cage, but we do have enough evidence to show you that makes you think a little bit. And then we'll take the data we receive and we'll jump to some conclusion. That conclusion may or may not trigger another question in another experiment.
again. This is not purely scientific. We're using a scientific method, hypothesis, experiment, evaluation kind of thing. But our devices we're measuring with aren't terribly precise. But it's precision that you can replicate on your own end. We might be using things like a WPI, iPerf, JPerf, and HTML-based uh, throughput test. RSSI, knowing that yes, RSSI is measured differently on different devices. But we're trying to make it repeatable so you could go back in your own environment and do the test yourself. Hopefully you'll do some and come up with a different set of conclusions and we can talk about it. This is all about bringing the community together to see if we can answer questions together. Not scientific, but experiential nonetheless. Each of our conclusions is based on the evidence we saw. We set up a scenario, we collect data, we look at the evidence, graph it out, and then make some conclusions. Maybe my conclusions and our conclusions on our teams are wrong. If so, tell us about it. Let's engage in a conversation about these. That's the whole goal. So this month, we're going to post something every single day in a Q&A format to help you learn, to help us have some fun doing experiments, and to help the community as a whole do a little Q&A together. Thanks.